This dessert is almost 50 years old. It was a hit in the 70s and 80s. Start by cutting 300 grams of puff pastry into a round shape. To do this, use a lid whose diameter is 24 centimeters, just like this. Then, place a 15 centimeter diameter pot in the center of this pastry to use as a guide. Then cut 150 grams of ladyfinger biscuits so that they fit around the rest of the pastry, just like mine. Now add 50 grams of condensed milk on top of the biscuits and set aside. Once you've done that, cut two medium peeled apples. Cut them in half and half again. Remove the core and cut into thin strips. Next, transfer them to a large skillet over medium to low heat. Add one tablespoon of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon powder, the juice of half a lemon, and stir everything for five minutes. Take this time to share this video and write in the comment section the name of the city from which you're watching it and we'll make sure to leave a heart especially for you. Oh, and thanks for sharing this video. This is the right point. Now, arrange the apples on top of the biscuits just like I'm doing. Have you got that recipe app? It's already available for download. With this app, you'll have access to all our recipes in the palm of your hands, and you'll get notified every time we upload a new recipe. In addition to all that, you'll also have access to an exclusive area in which you can bookmark your favorite recipes. Go to the App Store or Play Store now, type that recipe, and download it. Then, shape the ends of the pastry around the biscuits, remove the bowl from the center of the pastry, and cut into strips just like I'm doing. Now, take the ends of these cuts and put them together with the ends of the pastry. It should look like this. Once you've done that, transfer everything to a baking tray. Cut off the excess paper, brush some milk over everything. I hope you're enjoying the recipe. Share it with your friends. By doing so, you'll be helping us go even further. Add 50 grams of walnuts cut into smaller pieces. Take to a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and bake for 35 minutes. But keep an eye out, as this time may vary depending on the power of your oven. This is the right point. That recipe is ready. You may now serve and enjoy it. I hope you liked this recipe. Now I'll head to the comment section and leave a heart to everyone who left the name of their city. See you next recipe. Bye bye.